Joining us now is Kerry Tidwell from ARS Rescue Rooter, General Manager. Good to have you back. Good to see you. Thanks, Tracy. Normally, we're here, we're talking AC units, and you've, you know, preached to us, scolded to us about getting tune ups, regular maintenance, things of that nature. This, I know, is a water heater. It's not a hot water heater. That's redundant. I get people telling me that all the time when I say hot water heater. It's a water heater, but I know my old water heater. I know where it is. I know a lot about it. I didn't realize that these can get tune ups also. Yeah, they can, and you and you really want to do that at least once a year. Um, and what we do when we do a tune-up, Tracy, is we check things like the pressure relief valve, mm -hmm. and we make sure that we check your emergency shutoff valve and that you know where it is and it's working properly. I mean, these are some things that um, you know if they if they if they go faulty. I mean, you know, it's you got 50, 60, up to 75 gallons of water in here, and if you have a problem and something happens that could turn real ugly. Right, and you start thinking about where this could possibly be located in the house. It's not just that area where the heater is located, where that water could potentially end up, right? Yeah, it could be everywhere, especially you know if it's upstairs in an attic or oh, in a closet or something. I don't, something I don't like want to that, think about so, that. I don't yeah, want to think about that. Yeah. But um, it, again, it's one of these things that it it's sort of out of sight, out of mind. So we a lot of times, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't think about these until they start malfunctioning. Is there anything we can do as a homeowner? Prior to a tune-up, any sort of visual inspection things we should be looking for? Not, you know, not really. I mean, you really want to have you really want to have a, a licensed plumber come in and check it out. I mean, you know, to have visual inspections, make sure you don't have any water mm -hmm. you know, on the floor, things like that, certainly is good. But you really want a licensed plumber to come in and and check it out. And uh, <clears throat> you know, we we would come in and flush it. You know, you got your uh, this is where you would flush your system, mm -hmm. any lime buildup or sediment right. in the tank, and you know, as that builds up. It takes a room of where water would be, and so certainly, you know, when when you have too much of that in there, um, that could cause some heavy pressure on the system, which certainly it's not something you want. So, but you could check. I mean, one thing as a homeowner, we do want you to look for is, I mean, if you can see some corrosion or maybe okay. some external wear and tear. I mm -hmm. mean, obviously the tank walls on this, once those go again, you could run into some big trouble with leaks or even bursts of the tank itself. Well, well I'm guessing if you're seeing signs of corrosion on the exterior. It, you can only imagine what's going on in the interior. And not only is it potentially dangerous, also it's working a lot harder to do the same job, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially when you have the sediment and the lime in there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, definitely, definitely. And there's not much we can do for corrosion or stuff like that, but uh, certainly that might be the time that you might want to consider replacing it. These have a life of about, you know, eight to ten years. Eight uh, to ten. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you might get a couple more of it, but, sure. uh, but then you're, you know, you're like really you said it. earlier, it's like, you know, you try to get that extra couple years, the next thing you know, you don't know about this until it tells you, hey, I'm here and I got a problem. Right. Well, and then, again, like you said, with 40, 50, 60 gallons of water, the money you tried to save by not replacing it could all go out the door with, with damages and stuff. Yeah, exactly. If, exactly. If, I know there are way more efficient tank models, but these tankless models, they're really gaining traction. They used to be sort of a specialty deal for small spaces, but yeah. pretty much everyone's considering them though, right? Yeah, well they're they're you know they're they're great for a lot of reasons. I mean they're a lot of lot of it's kinda new here. I mean they've been around forever, you know, in Europe. Europe, yeah. And We're kinda behind them when yeah. it comes to them. But. Yeah, but they're you know they're uh they're, 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 the technology with them is, is really great. The nice thing about these, Tracy, is, is that it's hot water on demand. You know, mm -hmm. you don't, you're not storing the water, so you don't have a system wasting energy, you know, heating water that you're not, until you use it. Which, yeah, which is what a tank does. Yeah. It heats it up, and then if you don't use it, it cools down, and then it heats it up just waiting for you to use, right? Yeah, so but you're, this... yeah you're wasting a lot of, lot of money there uh, doing that. This is on demand. You, know, you call for it, and, uh, you know, you got hot water, so you never run out of it. So. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a nice thing if you've got many members of the family trying to shower all at once. <laughs> oh yeah, so, oh yeah, exactly. Um, so that 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 that's re that's really nice as well. It also takes up less space, right? Because it doesn't well, have the tank. And you're right. It's you can get it off the floor, put it up on the wall, um, and the energy efficiency of these is you know saves you money. Plus, um, they they last longer. They tend to last about 20 really? years. Okay. So oh, they're, wow, little, they're a little bit more upfront. Sure. But you know when you consider the energy savings and and the the longer lifespan you know could mm -hmm. be worth the investment is there uh w would this go right where the uh tank had gone or is there a consideration for for the hookup for the it can it can go in the same area or you can move it you okay. know it's it's uh you know these again you know you've, you've got some possibilities there because it can go just about on any wall mm -hmm. but a little bit more uh, up front but then again you said it, twice the lifespan and tune up get a tune up call these guys the great thing about these guys we've talked ac we could we talk heating in the winter of course we could talk water heater you don't have to scramble through your phone looking for a half dozen different contractors to come and, and do the housework they're going to build a relationship we just call just call carrie 
<laughs> say, what is it this time, foreigner? Good to see you as always. We're going to have you the link well. on our website, IndyStyle.tv. I want one of these bad boys. Very efficient.